Well, well, well. I'm just doing a little night ride in the CS2 to something, you know. Uh, the season's getting ready to begin. Um, we've already got a few um, spring cleanups. And, uh, you know, so it's kind of, I guess the season's kind of began, actually. Uh, we just haven't started, you know, doing, like, junk removals. We haven't started doing uh, lawn care. You know, those two haven't started yet. They usually kind of start at the same time. Lawn care usually starts a little bit after. People start calling about junk removal a little bit before. But um, people usually do what I've, what I've noticed over time. People usually do whatever's in season. An example. If you want to buy a motorcycle, probably the best time to, to, to buy a motorcycle is when it's going out of season because people usually are very robotic. Um, and it's the same thing when it comes to um, lawn care and, you know, things like that or snow. People really kind of get into that frantic panic when actually it's time. You know what I mean? Um, and that's, I think that's, it's just like that with almost anything, you know, buying clothes. If it's, you know, if it's fall, people start wanting to buy fall clothes. So you kind of have to buy the season if you want deals and things like that. But what I've noticed um, is that even though you notice that most people do not buy the season, I think it's very important to not copy off the masses, not copy off what everybody else does and kind of be, I guess, the eyeball or, stay, you know, out of, out of the box or whatever you want to call it and try your best to buy out of season, um, prepare for things before they come and don't wait till they come, you know. So that's kind of, um, you know, the thing with me, you know, this year I'm, I might sell a few weed eaters because this is the best time to sell them. Um, and then before the season, when the season's get ready to end, if I want to purchase something else for lawn care, I will buy that, you know, as the season ends. So basically today, um, we, we, we did a little job today. I didn't do any video because it was crazy. But um, what I've, what I, I'm, I want to say what I've learned, you know, I already know this. I already know it, honestly, but sometimes things get reiterated into your mind when you make a mistake. Um, and I would never say that it was a, a total mistake, but, you know, we did a leaf job and um, I, I definitely underbid the job. I did not bid the job correctly. And um, I think what's very important and what I already knew, but obviously sometimes you have to be reminded, you know what I mean? is um, you need to have, your equipment needs to match up to what job you're doing. You know, sometimes when we're like, hey, you know, the season's just, just starting to jump off, and I'm like, man, I need some money. I want to make some extra money, so I got I, I, I got to get on whatever. And that's kind of like the mentality that I've had, you know, over the last couple of weeks. Like, you know, anything coming, I'm trying to grab it, you know what I mean? But... You know, you have to be careful, and that's kind of what happened today. I did a leaf job that, I mean, you know, I was anticipating it taking us, you know, two hours, maybe two and a half at max. It took us five hours to do. And I'm talking about, you know, and I sat back and I thought, why did it take us so long? You know, what, 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 what did we do wrong? I mean, it wasn't even that windy today. I mean, a little bit wind here and there, but no way, shape, or form a windy day. Um, we had, you know, two of us, me and Nicole, we had backpack blowers. Um, um, the yard wasn't that big. I mean, it was a, I don't, I don't know the square footage, medium sized yard, you know, um, just not huge though. Like if you were to cut it with a, with a, with a 52 inch rider, the yard would take about 15, 20 minutes to cut. So it wasn't a very big yard, a lot of leaves, um, but what I noticed is, is that I, um, pretty much did not anticipate, did not think about my more not being able to get into the gate. 
You know, when I'm cutting grass, I'm like, yeah, you know, I got to get my mower in the gate. You know, that's pretty much how I've been doing it, you know, last couple of years or, you know, at least last year. I've been pretty much getting most of my yards. I picked that I could get my mower in the gate so I can do the job. So this time, you know, I, I, I said, so this is just leaves. You know, we'll just blow them out to the front. But leaves don't always cooperate. You know, they get stuck places. I mean, I mean, just, you know, if you do leaves, it's so crazy sometimes. And if we had a windy day today, there would have been no way we would have ever got done. Like, never. Like, it would have just wouldn't have happened. So, um, I'm scaling back from my push mowers. I'm going to sell my 30-inch Time time Master. Um, and what well, basically the moral of the story is, I, and you know, you need that. You need to have equipment that is equipped to do what job is at hand. And if I could have got my mower back there, you know, I could have definitely used the, you know, just the the grass catcher on the side, and I could have definitely cut time down by mulching up leaves and doing all kind of things with them with the with the rider. Even I have two riders, so I could have. You know, obviously, I even, you know, use the other grass catcher. So I could have two grass catchers going, but I would not, I was not able to get into that gate. So kind of, you know, I know we really want to make money and sometimes you have to, and yeah, I still profited it and I still made money. I said that wrong, profited it. Wow. Okay. But I still made money, but what I noticed was it just took me too long. The job took twice as long. So I made, you know, you know, nothing like it wasn't it wasn't like what it should have been. So the whole point I'm trying to make is that just like if somebody comes to you and they're like, hey, man, you know, if you cut down these five big trees, you know, I'll give you, you know, five thousand bucks. You're like, yeah, I mean, I want that five thousand. But if you don't have the equipment to cut down those trees, be careful with jobs you pick. Because sometimes you can make yourself look bad. We ended up making it look good, but it took us forever, you know, and. You can make yourself look bad. You can truly get a job and that you could have did, you know, if you had the right equipment and done it in half the time and just make it to where you just, you know, totally mess up. So, I mean, that's something that I guess I relearned again today, you know. So from now on, when I do do leaves, you know, um, and leaves are so tricky. I mean, you can look at them and be like, hey, that's not going to take that long. And it takes way longer because why? It's real simple because um, at 3 o'clock when you started, the wind wasn't blowing. But when you got to like 345, all of a sudden you got 15, 20 mile an hour winds. So I think it's very important to have the right equipment for whatever you're doing. Very important to have the right equipment with whatever job you're doing so you can make the job look good because if you go in there and you do a half-assed job people are going to see in the neighborhood they're going to see that man this guy don't know, doesn't know what he's doing and um people are not going to want to be referred to you they're not going to refer you you know what i mean and word of mouth is the best form of advertising so that's kind of what i learned today and um you know i just wanted to share with you guys you know, and I was just driving around thinking, how could I have done better? How could I have, you know, and I thought about everything. Man, maybe we should have used push mowers. Maybe we should have, you know, had three people there. I mean, I thought of all kind of stuff, but it was the simple answer. The simple answer was you shouldn't have took that job. I should have took a job, you know, that I could get my rider in and I could literally help attack with the rider. What we should have did if, we had, if it was open, we would have got everything from the cracks, um, the fence line, and we would have blew everything um, pretty much to the middle. And I could have, you know, drove over it, mulched it up. And also, after mulching it up, I could have sucked some of them up into the, the grass catcher, dumped it, you know, dumped the leaves. And guess what? It would have went a lot smoother. But we had to blow all those leaves to the back. And then I had to do everything I just told you in the front. But it took us like three hours to get them leaves to the front. And we had to blow them through this tiny little gate that was, man, probably 30 inches. You know what I mean? So that's pretty much what, I'm, what I wanted to explain to everybody. So 
keep your jobs um you know pretty much in a situation where you can do them with whatever equipment you have. I know sometimes you got to make money and I, that's that's perfectly understandable, man. I mean, I've been there and I'm there now sometime, you know. So I understand, but just realize that, you know, um gaining momentarily it can hurt you in the long run because now you leave a job doing a crappy job and everybody's mad at you and people say bad things so enjoy the video sorry i hope i didn't talk too much but i just was thinking and it's three o'clock and i'm going home